I love I love how Ash is like, nice to meet you. I just made you. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> demanding, aren't yeah. you? Oh wow, he already is like, please make me this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to PlayStation Underground. You got Kirsten here. We are checking out Concrete Genie, which is out yeah, now. So We're playing on a PS4 Pro. Uh, and you know, we just wanted to dive back into this world and, and take a look at making a couple a couple creatures, a couple genies, some paintings, and see you know the wonders that Concrete Genie has to offer. I am here uh, with the team from Pixel Opus. We got Jing, we got Arjun, and we also have Taylor on the sticks. Uh, hey guys, welcome. Hello. Hi. Hi. So tell us a little bit. We, uh, you know, we had a previous underground episode that was more by like the, the fishing town docks. We're in a very different area here. So can you tell us a little bit about what we're seeing? Yeah, this is the waterways level. Um, it's around the fourth level, so you're almost at the more than half of the game. Mm -hmm. Look at these mushrooms. Yeah, it's very interesting to see different kind of paintings in this level. Everything lit up in the darkness as well. I was going to say, it sort of gives off like a neon vibe. And throughout the town, you'll find these uh, chalk paintings on the ground that are from Ash's childhood. Mm -hmm. So whenever he gets to those points, he can draw creative energy from them and then paint a genie on the wall there. Oh, nice. All right, well, let's see who he's going to make. Yeah, we have a lot of genie body uh, designs that you can pick from. And then also a lot of features you can add on them. Nice. Um, they are like bunny ears, right. foxtails, or... Is there, is there yeah, like a limit? Could I give him like 12 years? You can something? have a lot of them, um, <laughs> but when you have super pain, you have more. So oh, okay. yeah, you can definitely do 12 years. Very nice. Give him a little hat, just a little um, mushroom cap. Yeah, based on the attachment you put on them, they also have different personalities. Oh, some okay. of them could be like cheerful, okay. some of them could be shy. Oh. My personal favorite is the mysterious one who kind of floats oh, and doesn't mysterious. have a mouth. Yeah, they're so cool. Nice. And when you bring them to life, they have kind of different requests. Um, so they'll request things to be drawn. Yeah, oh, I, lo I love how Ash is like, nice to meet you. I just made you. <laughs> Hope you don't mind. Demanding, aren't yeah. you? Oh, wow. He already is like, please make me this. Yeah. So <laughs> Uh, each of the genies, they have like a set of AI behaviors attached to them. Mm. So they will be walking around the level and then they'll be also asking for designs. So once, uh, like Taylor is now fulfilling the dandelion design. Mm -hmm. So once you fulfill the design, oh, the genie so becomes happy yeah. and he has like a heart symbol and then the heart particles around him. So once he's happy, he's going to give you the currency we have in our game, which is the super paint. Mm -hmm. And like Jing mentioned earlier, Super Paint has many uses. The first use is uh, he can Taylor it. can use Super Maybe Paint to actually like clear paint. the darkness. Nice. The darkness is like the the, the purple, purple, like vinish looking. Yeah, the purple stuff. Much better. Yeah, and the genies are actually afraid <laughs> of the darkness. So if you clear the darkness, it allows them to access more of the canvases, more space. More space. Nice. I love how he just like scooted over and he was like, oh, look at this. Yeah. Look at this wall. They get actually attracted towards the paintings paint. and then they start interacting with them as well. Nice. Uh, I love that. It was so nice on the other wall where you were building the dandelions and then he blew them away. It was so sweet. Yeah. Uh, Super Paint also allows you to paint uh, like bigger versions of your designs. Mm. So you can clear larger sections of the darkness. Okay. Uh, yeah. So. The other thing is, uh, there are these hidden sections around the game, like uh, which the player needs to find. Mm -hmm. They're called playtime moments. So you oh, can. Are we playing a game of hide and seek? Yeah, <laughs> this is like a peekaboo hide and seek kind of a mechanic. Uh, so this is just to encourage the connection between you and the genie. Yeah. And then once you complete that moment, the genie again becomes happy and then you build the connection uh, as you progress. There are other moments like this, as uh, like similar to this, mm -hmm. like basketball. Uh, you can play sing. basketball with yeah, the Yeah, you can awesome. actually play basketball. Uh, there's like fishing, you can do fishing with them, yeah. and then uh, lots of them in the world. Nice, it sort of just depends on what your environment is and your genie's personality. Yeah, and then uh, basically you need to find those spots and then bring the genie to them. So if you call them over, they'll do those activities. Got it, oh I see, like, Oh, look at that. Yeah, so this is like a special thing, like each genie has a color. Mm -hmm. So this blue genie is a wind genie. And if you see blue objects in the world, mm -hmm. the genie can interact with them. So for example, this box, right, the wind genie can actually push the box around with his wind power. And so helpful. Yeah, he's uh, super helpful like to help you traverse the yeah, level. Yeah, so it's almost like a little bit of a puzzle of like, what do I need to draw and what do I need to do to help ha have him help me get through this world. Right, correct. 
So you have to find the correct spot, bring him over, and then... I was going to say, is raising uh, the paintbrush like a little beacon? I noticed you just did that. Yeah. So yeah, it sort yeah. of is like, hey, come here. Yeah, so he's going to uh, find the closest <laughs> canvas to you when you do that. Got it. And then he's just going to come over there. And then, it's so you can actually move the camera around and he's going to go to different spaces. So you can kind of control where he's going to be. Yeah, I think I can do that. These are what we call the secret genie moment. Mm -hmm. um, whenever you see this little chalk yeah. painting in the wall, you can call the genie over. And instead of giving you the speech bubble, they will actually kind of paint what they want to see mm -hmm. with different colors. And then this kind of another mini puzzle that you have to figure out because oh, you, you don't know what they, what they actually look like. And then when you paint this uh, composition in the wall, they will take one of the yeah, elements and interact with it. Ash would then like take out his notebook and kind of draw it in his notebook. Aww. So in this one, it's like oh, the genie will actually sit on the flute lock and That's chill. That's so sweet. <laughs> and then Chilling there are like flute lock. <laughs> yeah, there are like twenty of them you can find in the oh, world so and hidden everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So keep your eye out, guys. Um, the genies also interact with anything you paint. Okay. Um, I mean, most of the things you paint. So like they will eat the apples, mm -hmm. blow the dandelions, and even they can make like ice cream. For themselves, like if you paint, cream? yeah, cool. if you paint icicles, and they can scoop a little bit of snow and then make an ice cream for That's themselves. That's dream, my friends. Please make your genies ice cream. It's all they want. <laughs> we want to make sure that when the player are painting, they're not only decorating the town. It also feels like you're making a home for the genies, mm. because the genies are our friends that. Ash wish he had in real life yeah. and by painting and playing with them you're building the connection with them as yeah. like through gameplay and then they become friends that carry um seriously look at those hearts you. that's <laughs> a good friend right there yeah. it's nice too like even just in this very short amount of time uh taylor's made very different little landscapes across all of these different yeah. walls but yeah. the genie finds a way to sort of have fun and interact with them no matter what. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody feel like they are an artist. Yeah. Even though you never paint before, you can create. I was going to say, I am I am a very bad artist in real life, so I very much appreciate uh, the ability to make something beautiful yeah. uh, that I probably wouldn't be able to do if I was trying to hand draw it myself. I think, uh, so as an engineer as well, I feel like this game allows me to create beautiful landscapes, which I wouldn't be able to do in real life because it's so easy to draw all the brushes. Yeah, I and the designs, the, like even just the, the brushes themselves, they're they're so beautiful, even if you were to just use the one. Yeah. It's awesome to see it organically rise up and grow and become something. Yeah. At the beginning of the project, they the genies are actually look like paint splatters, mm -hmm. and you'll be splashing paint around the world. And when they wake up, they have this giant face on top of the paint splatters, uh, and they, they didn't move much. Even though it was fun to paint, yeah. chuck paint around, it feels like it's really hard to make a deep connection with these characters. That's why we added their arms and legs Aww. and the ability to move around. And it feels like it was easier to make a connection with them. Nice. And Taylor just en entered this feature as what we call a photo mode mm -hmm. feature. Um, so did he press uh, both of the thumbsticks to yeah, get in here? Yeah, both of the thumbsticks. And then we have a lot of filters. So temperature, contrast, saturation. Nice. Um, and then the, another feature we wanted to highlight is the replay feature. So if you press square, all your painting will slowly phase in. Oh, and nice. then you can share this video with the world as well. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, nice. And you can drop the UI and mm -hmm. you can share it. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. It's like you are, you get to see it sort of come to life as you're making it. But yeah. then again, when you finish it and you're like, yep, this is it. Yep. You can, oh, look at that. It's almost like it's like being breathed like into life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this. I'm so happy that this game is out. Oh. Well, you guys have done a phenomenal job. Thank you so much for taking the time to sort of dive through uh, more of the world of Concrete Genie. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Yeah. Thank you for All right, us. we'll see you guys on the next episode of PlayStation Underground. PlayStation.